What's up YouTube, Demi here with the day one and two update of Incursion. I may have accidentally streamed for 25 hours or something. It's fine, don't worry about it. We're level 78. Um, I did Uber Lab, I got Uber Lab done, got my normal Cruel Merc Uber Lab, soloed all of them, no problem. My tree, yeah, what, where do we start? Let's do a map so you can see how the build looks. I only got up to, I think tier four maps, but I keep running out of higher tier maps, so it's kind of annoying. Yeah, I got T4 strains unlocked. I keep getting dropped back to tier 2, so I'm probably just going to buy some maps tomorrow. Um, notable drops today. I got a Piscators. I got a Binos. I got a Xeris thingy. I did, I did a Incursion that had a Xeri in the thing, and she killed me immediately with Reflect. That was cool. I one-shot myself to the 1% Reflect, which, but she gave me Immortal Grief and some boots, so that's cool. But I'm not going to wear that anything tomorrow, but that's alright. Uh, I got a Witchfire Brew. Got a 280 something, 350 DPS thing. Got some really, really nice boots. The Piscator's I sold for 44 chaos. I also had this enchant on my only Uber Lab run. That's dumb. But anyways, back to the mapping thing. So this is a map, yep. We're just gonna show you what a true character looks like. So I did settle on Flame Blast. Incinerate, I used Incinerate to level up, and it is a very good skill, but I missed Earthquake, er, Earthquake, what the fuck? I missed Flame Blast. And they're both really good skills, so I'm just playing this again because it's amazing. But yeah, playstyle is you run up or flame dash into a pack, drop your orb of storms, and then blow up the pack. Very simple. You just touch it and everything dies. It's great. You just touch, touch, touch. Quite simple. Very fast. Um, it's got really good single target, really good AoE clear, the prolifs, and the herald of ash tend to one shot anything that i don't actually kill with my main hit which is a pretty sizable hit um I'm trying to see if i can get an example of that effect let me find a big pack and hit the middle of it that was just a one tap right just a boop the pro lift kills things next to it it's not like holy shit damage but it's enough to kill trash like a lot of damage isn't like not what we're trying to say a little bit of damage is enough to kill trash I think my DOT DPS right now is somewhere around 20k, which doesn't sound like a lot, but mobs don't have that much HP, so they tend to get cleaned up pretty easily. But yeah, I've just been cruising. I have a lot of stupid deaths to uh, being really tired. 11 deaths at level 78, pretty bad. I think the majority of them were during leveling, and then I died once to the last Merc Lab carry I was doing. I'm doing Merc Lab carries um, for a couple of chaos. Yeah, it was a really smooth leveling process. I've been res capped. My life total has been pretty good the whole time. I was in, I think I was at like four point something K life until I found the Piscators and then I did the, got the Piscators sold, bought a bunch of new gear and redid my skill tree to have more life. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I did buy one exalt with the rest with the leftover Piscators money. They are 34 chaos right now. So I just bought one to hold for tomorrow because I'm gonna go to sleep and wake up and I'll, I'll gain like 10 to 30 chaos on it. Without having to do anything, which is kind of nice. If you're if you're ever playing early on in the league and you can buy an exalt because you don't have anything else you need to buy, do it. It's not gonna like hurt you. You're gonna make it back. No, you're gonna make it back in more. So here's a boss, and then you just you just fall flame blast it, and it's dead now. Hooray, you did it. <laughs> fall flame blast is really cool. It works while you're like with your main skill, right? I have an 11% quality fall flame blast that I got from a incursion, I think. Just threw that on and level it up, and it gives you both skills. So I have all of them in my little five link thing. It's it's pretty solid. So we'll go over all that. I also bought a portal gem because I keep running out of portal scrolls. It's annoying. So how did I level the character? Well, I started with freeze. Wait, okay. So fireball into freeze pulse into frostbolt into firestorm slash frostbolt for a while, and then I got incinerate, and I used that until I got flame blast, and then I just used flame blast from there out. But I leveled up like this, and then this, and then this, and then this, and then all this stuff. And then I went over here, grabbed this, and this. And then I grabbed Templar stuff, and then way later on I redid my tree to look like this. <laughs> I was gonna go this way at first, but it was less efficient than going this way for more life nodes. These life nodes are incredibly efficient, which is good. Um, but yeah, it's it's a pretty simple tree. I'm currently going back up here to grab this damage stuff in the AOE back. And I haven't gone Mind Over Matter yet. I'm not sure if it's going to be worth it, because I don't have any real way to leech the mana back. Other than carrying a mana pouch I don't want to do. 
but normal lab then cruel lab once you get this you really start noticing your prolif your ignite prolif it's really really good after this and then when you get to Merc lab Rulab, lab sure but you don't really need these this is like the main thing that you need because once you get your flame blast going you have 87 percent chance to ignite with nothing and you get five percent more chance to ignite per stack up to 10 so you're over capped on ignite chance it doesn't really matter but yeah, this is skill tree. I am dual cursed now, so I have Warlord's Mark and uh, Flammability, which gives me even more ignite chance, but also reduces their fire res. I'm using uh, Ellie Overload if I crit in the past eight seconds, which I do because I drop this all the time. And Orbital Storms ticks based on your cast rate now, so it ticks really, really fast. And I'm using Ellie Equilibrium because of that really fast tick, so it just hits with lightning, 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 and then when I drop my giant flame blast stack on them, they're weak to fire. Yes, they gain fire res for like. 0.2 seconds, but then this hits again, and they're back to negative fire res, and then they just melt to the ignite or the second hit that comes in. It's a pretty cool little interaction. I got a lot of AoE. Um, the next points, I'll be getting one, two, three here. And then I'm gonna start grabbing jewel sockets, I think. So I'll go for four, five, six, um, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, maybe. That'll put me at level 90. Probably just gonna do jewel sockets because they're pretty good. I can get stuff like this. This jewel is 3C. It's life, cast speed, spell area. Like, it's perfect. I'd rather have more cast speed, but that's okay. Um, Flame Blast looks like this. It's about 3k average if it's not on Pendulum. I'm not sure if I'm on Pendulum. 2.7k, sorry. It just, it just rotates a lot because of the uh, ascendancy. But yeah, it's it's pretty good. This is without the... I think that's with the AoE. I don't know. There's a rotating AoE buff. I think that's with, and then it'll go back down. But yeah, 10 stacks pretty quickly. So it's not too bad. You want a 10 second let go, it's kind of like Blade Flurry, max stacks is max damage. Um, yep. Gear. So, I leveled up with random self-found garbage until I got the Piscators, right? And it was fine. I had over 4k life, I was res capped, there were no issues. Um, I bought this wand for, I think it was 2c. I just searched for fire spell damage above 70 with cast speed and grabbed the first one I saw. Helmet, I searched for over 100 max life, 120 max life I think it was, with some lightning res. Need lightning res at the time. Uh, amulet, I went for as much dex and life as I could get. This is like 70 dex, because I need dex. There's like no dex on the tree at all with this character. So I got that. Uh, shield was 2 chaos, high life, high resistance shield. Um, the reason I'm not dual wielding is because I needed a res on my gear, and I didn't want to buy two weapons when I could need life and resistances. So I went with a shield for now. We'll see late game if I can afford to drop the shield. It is useful to have though. Um, let's see, ring, this was 2 chaos. Life resists mana regen. I like mana regen so I don't run out of mana while spamming. This was one chaos. It's life cold res dex basically. The chess piece I paid 5c for a 5 link magic item and then I scoured it and out it once. And it ended up with life resist on it so I just stopped immediately. Gloves, life dual res. These are two chaos. Belt was one and a half chaos if I remember right. And it still has an open suffix for another resistance. So does the something else. My boots. I found these myself. I'm trying to get the Leech Enchant or the Regen Enchant if you've been hit recently one. I haven't hit that yet, um, but this has an open stomach for resistance as well if I do want to upgrade another piece of gear. I'm probably going to upgrade this ring since it's kind of low life. I could get like 100 plus life on a ring, but I'm already over 6k life so it's not that big of a deal. Um, Jewel thing, I have this. It's Life Onslaught. Onslaught is really nice. It's attacking cast speed and it saves me a flash slot. And it's up most of the time while mapping. And then this Jewel I said I paid, what was it, 3c4? Yeah. Um, flasks, I'm just using pretty basic flasks. Recovery speed, eternal. Um, divine flasks have high life but low recovery speed. And these have medium re medium life, high recovery speed. So if you get increased recovery rate on them, it's a really fast heal over time, which is nice. Uh, ideally this would have freeze on it or bleed. Then I have an instant remove bleed. Uh, freeze flask, stib knight to blind enemies so they can't hit me. A uh, quicksilver flask with movement speed. And a remove poison of assault. I think this should be... Curse immunity, I think? Or shock or ignite. One of those. Not poison. Poison's kinda useless. There's not much poison in this game right now. But yeah, it's pretty it's going pretty well. I had no issues. And then I've got all my links set up more or less how I want them. So I'm using uh, flame blast, control destruction, combustion, faster casting, increased AoE, and then I swap AoE for conch effect for bosses or lab running, whatever. It does quite a lot of damage. The f combustion is really good, like 
more fire damage and more chance to ignite and enemies get ign negative fire res which is huge for your ignite damage i quite like this skill gem um other random links i have my orbital storms with curse Hint flame ability gives them negative 50 fire res from el equilibrium and then negative 42 fire res for a total of negative 92 percent fire resistances while hitting with this is pretty good and then you get negative 18 with this as well so you're at negative 110 fire res pretty useful um, and then I have that link to increase AoE just so it's bigger. You can put increased crits if you feel like the crits aren't fast enough, or culling strike, or faster casting, whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. Um, random portal gem and an unset ring. If you didn't have the unset slot, you could put it here, because, wait, yeah, you can put it here, you just have to unlink these two. Because I don't like picking up portal scrolls. Um, my spell totem, which is the Scorching Ray debuff, Scorching Ray gives enemies negative fire resistances per stage, so you can get up to eight of those. That's another negative 24% resistance for bosses which means we're at a negative 134% fire resistances in addition to our 20 or 31% fire pen on flame blast pretty good amount of uh, ignore the fuck out of your resistances right or go through them but yes yeah, spell totem scorching ray and efficacy i think this should be an increased duration ideally or faster casting i'm not sure which is better but you want to be able to maintain max stacks so one of those two would be good uh random other link castle damage taken and mortal call this is a high level castle damage taken. You can put this at whatever level you want. I have it currently at about a third of my HP so that it casts and I get fizz immunity based on how many endurance charges I have in a base duration. And I also have it linked to my lightning golem. But my lightning golem is too high a level to be cast by that right now. But this will soon catch up. I think one more level and it'll catch up. Then it'll be good there. Uh, other links I have a level one castle damage taken, which is linked to Warlord's Mark and Ball Lightning. So every time I get hit for a little bit of damage, about 500 damage, which is all the time, it throws out Warlord's Mark, which gives me life and mana leech and endurance charges when I kill enemies. And Ball Lightning hits them for lightning damage, which procs my Elite Glibrium again, and it crits fairly often, so it keeps my Elite Overload up when I'm taking damage, which is kind of nice. And then the random other link, I have a Herald of Ash here. Herald of Ash gives you uh, more burning damage, more spell fire damage, and burning damage overkill. So like, if I one-shot a pack for like 50k, things next to it just get inflicted with this massive burn and it hurts a lot way more than our ignites do but i think they work alongside each other i think you can ignite and burn at the same time not 100 percent sure though um other random links i have a increased duration flame dash arcane surge and faster casting i was going to use lightning warp and i tried it for a while but i don't have a high enough level lightning warp for it to feel good and my less duration was like level three so it's just really really slow here i'll show you what it feels like with less duration it's like if you want to go across the screen it's it's not quite there yet so once i get more cast speed and less duration and leveled up it'll be better but until that happens i just swap the links to this because flame dash is a duration tag if you link it with increased duration it makes the fire last longer but it also enhances how long your arcane surge lasts which gives you more spell damage increased cast speed and percent mana regen per second which is really cool for sustaining our uh, spam here I should probably level that up higher. But yeah, it's like every flame dash, I get a seven second arcane surge, which is huge. Are there any other links I missed? Uh, I don't think so. I think that's everybody. Pantheons. I'm using the stun pantheon and the physical mitigation if I've been hit recently. I will probably upgrade these eventually when I find divine vessels, which I haven't found any yet. But yeah, here's my current stash. I got a lot of alks today. I've been selling things for one to three alks, one to two alks all day. My leftover chaos orbs, the exalt I bought, and then a fair amount of other stuff. Nothing too crazy. Tomorrow, I'm probably going to keep pushing maps so I can try to get out of T2 maps because I have 11% of my Alice. I'd like to get that up to like 30, 40%. I'm probably going to start buying maps. But yeah, overall thoughts on the league? It's amazing. I'm actually like excited to do incursions in the temple thing. I've done, I think, four total temples. And I'm figuring it out. I don't know exactly how it works quite yet. I just try to upgrade the good, or not the good rooms. I want to say like currency on them or gems or whatever, or loot. It's pretty fun. The boss is pretty hard. I'm not going to spoil it anything or like that. And you can find Inziri in these rooms. But you can also corrupt your items for uh, double implicits and whatnot. And you can sometimes sacrifice uniques for other uniques, which is kind of cool. But yeah, I'll show you my whole stash. I don't have much... Nothing too crazy going on here. We're like, we're working on it. I have all my Uber trials and I said I need Uber Lab already, so you kind of need that. But we share it on stream, so if you ever want to like get Uber Lab trials at the beginning of a, of a league, come join stream. We hang out. And uh, yeah, some garbage here. 
lots of garbage here it's been moving if it doesn't move quickly day one or two just lower the price like dump it because it's not gonna be worth anything in like three days right these actually sell diamond flasks will sell for like a fusing or two at the beginning of the league because people need them oh yeah and i got this weird ass corruption from a corrupted thing plus two aura gems and 90 percent mana multiplier so they take less mana i was like that's really good if it was on like an alpha's howl or something that'd be insane but it's on a random shit helmet that isn't even linked. It don't gonna have Reach 8 for like two weeks probably, so it's whatever. Yep. But yeah, I just I've been selling off random garbage. You just kinda throw it in tabs. This is a really nice chest if it was linked. This is a decent wand jewel if I could regal it. Um, I also got this cool thing out of uh, one of the incursions. It's got T1 cold res and Fizz taken as cold as a suffix on an idle 35 item. I thought that was pretty insane. Yeah, yeah, mortal grief, whatever. It's my old boots. What else is there to say? I don't know. Let me know what you guys are doing for the league in the comments below. I am incredibly sleep deprived. If this video was in any way incoherent, I am sorry. But I just streamed for 24 hours. 25 hours. A lot of hours. I hope you're enjoying your incursion start. Flaming Poob will be live again whenever I'm awake, most likely. That's a big AOE flame blast. It's really fun. Like The, the playstyle is just what I remember being. The Unites are not quite as strong, but they still kill everything. I think it's gonna scale great in endgame. I'm hoping I can achieve like six and a half, seven K life, no problem, with my jewels. And I've done Uber Lab, I've done maps up to tier four. Solo, like I have I have no issues with damage at all. It's like Vol Flame Blast one shots any boss. It's really stupid. But uh yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support what I do, you can consider subscribing on Twitch or you can support me on Patreon, which is linked in the description below this video. Um, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching, and that's Demi out.